Greetings from Dubuque, Iowa's oldest city. It's located along the Mississippi River. In the past several years, over 45 murals have popped up in Dubuque, mostly among our cultural corridor downtown. But now a few have been painted in the hill area west of the downtown. Among some of the newest murals to adorn the historic walls of Dubuque, is the vintage postcard depiction of the Mississippi River was the rising sun by Zor with other murals called Automate by Gala, Ada Hayden by Gaia, Young David, Wild Rose, Undercurrent, The Fate of Santa Clara, America Needs a Hug, I Am a Man, Owl's Moon portal and the American Legion Post 6 has the first mural dedicated to honor veterans of the Vietnam War. A few years ago as the past commander of American Legion Post 6, Bob Felderman was working with Chuck Duggan, the American Legion Clubhouse manager, to have a silhouette image of a soldier kneeling or a soldier in full gear in silhouette along the wall facing the high traffic University Avenue. Now in 2021, the past commander is now on the board of directors of the Dubuque Museum of Art as the treasurer. Beginning in mid-November of 2021, the museum is going to be hosting a new exhibition on the Vietnam War with photographs from a traveling exhibit of Associated Press images of the war. The new executive director, Gary Stoppelman, mentioned they were planning a wall of honor for the exhibit and wondered if any veteran organization might like to have a mural painted using the main exhibit image. Bob Felderman suggested the Legion made contact with them to work the approval. Gary contacted the Voice of Productions for an artist's name and ideas for the mural. And thus the first veteran mural of Dubuque was generated. Felderman called a local sports announcer, Gary Dolphin, for help in raising the money to pay for an artist, Corbin Lundberg. The mural was painted in mid-September and dozens of veterans stopped to talk to him, take pictures, get autographs, and enjoy the mural. Hello, my name is Nancy. Of all the murals in Dubuque, this is the first mural that honors veterans of the Vietnam War. As someone who grew up in the Vietnam era, I think it's poignant that it's on the American Legion building here in Dubuque. It's great that the Voices Productions have done these murals. Yeah, my name is Sean Harrington. Uh, I'm currently going to online seminary uh, to become a pastor, teacher, uh, working on my master's at the moment. They served in the Air Force. My grandfather served in the Army. My great-grandfather, I believe, fought in World War I, and my great-great-grandfather was in the Civil War. Um, so we've got several generations of military history. And I would come out and check it out every other day or so. And after the first day or two, I thought that it was done. And he's like, no, I got six days left to work on it. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're aware, Dubuque has over 45 murals right now. Yeah, I've seen a lot of them the last, I mean, I've been in Dubuque almost 12 years now. Right. And I've seen probably in the last five years, seven years for sure, yep. uh, many of them pop up downtown and a lot of them are really, really awesome. Yeah. I've been a strong advocate of the murals in Dubuque because they show that we have an art culture that continues to develop, continues to grow and continues to change. We can't continue to have the same art, the same locations. We need to get art out to people. Thus, the murals of Dubuque are focused on the streets, people driving by, people walking by, and it has been an outstanding effort by the Voices Productions. The Dubuque Museum of Art is a Smithsonian American Art Museum associate, and they have booked Vietnam, the real war, photographs from the Associated Press from the Huntsville Museum of Art to be on exhibition here in Dubuque from 13 November 2021 through 6 February 2022.